The Langston River flowed free and wild till the Calamity drank it all up. Maybe all that water just grew wings and flew off. Send some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nellie knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Or maybe not. The security skiff pulls up portside. Nellie's just another windbag to those guns. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. They're pretty steamed about what happened at Cinderbrick. They try to cut her off. They try to slow her down. They try to knock her out. Nellie tries harder. Try as she might though, she hits a snag. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors. Good spot for a break, because the core is right there. She's got a special surprise for when the water's getting rough. She's gonna need a little help with all them peckers. Crafty things think they're king of the roost now. Rest of us only wish we'd fly in times like these. Gifts keep on coming, starboard side. Don't seem to care what they shoot, as long as they hit something. Windbags get an even better idea. They aim to 
smash with metallic splinters. Well, it all proves too much for poor Nelly. She's just gotta make one last stop. With her last breath, Nelly gets the kid to solid ground. Solid ground and pick her country. They want that core real bad. Might be they want it just as bad as a kid. Kid shoes them off, knowing they'll be back. Know how many times kid nearly fell off the barge back there? Not even once. Listen close. You should remember this next part. Why go to Prosper Bluff? Used to take an enterprising man or a plain old fool to venture out that far. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. But on the other hand, some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can't. And that's why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it? There the kid hears something he ain't heard in a long while. How's it go again? Yeah, that's the one.
Well, no point explaining what happens next, right? Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty-handed. And besides, it's like the song goes. They'll be here before too long. We darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. If only I'd known half the secrets of the Calamity were tucked away in that book, I'd have worked to translate it right away. Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods, unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Girl tried to run away from home one time, but the marshals stopped that, didn't they? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. The Breakers. Ain't no one could outrun them. Or their arrows. We tracked the final core beyond the city to the wilds. 